What's up everyone, Lewis Howes here, and thank you for watching this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the five steps to having your greatest year ever. Now, I want to share with you throughout this video the lessons that I learned over the last year and how I'm going to apply them into this next year and how you should too. Now, 2016 was a massive year for the School of Greatness. We hit 27 million downloads on the podcast. Now, 15 million downloads on this year alone. We hit 4.5 million views on YouTube, people. This is huge. That's all in 2016. And from 2007 to 2015, we had 2.6 million views total in that span of time. We launched the first annual Summit of Greatness, and it was a massive success. People came from all over the world. We brought some of the best speakers in the world as well, and it's going to be even bigger and better next year. We had some amazing Big time guests on the podcast, people like Maria Sharapova, Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, Ray Lewis, NFL legend, Tony Robbins came back on. We went on his private jet. We had Mike Rowe, Rob Deerdeck, the media king, Larry King, Scooter Braun, and many, many more. And next year, we are planning for some amazing guests. Get ready. Also, the School of Greatness Academy had some incredible results and transformations in people's lives, people from all over the world. I think we have about 20 different countries represented in the academy, and the transformation in people's personal lives and business is off the charts. We launched Legacy, our business building academy that teaches people how to build their brand and a business around doing what they love and personally i traveled to eight different countries i played with the usa handball team built schools with pencils of promise around the world got certified as a meditation instructor in india and so many more amazing things in my personal life and here are the five lessons that i learned from the year that i'm going to apply into next year and that I want you to apply in your life as well. I don't want you to fall short on these. Lesson number one, you got to have a clear vision. This is something I talk about all the time. You got to figure out where you want to be this year, for the next 12 months, figure out where you want to be and what you'd like to build for the future. So if you're not thinking about why you're doing something for this year and how it's going to support you for the coming years, then you're missing the point. You're always going to have to figure some new vision out every single year. So otherwise, you're just doing random things and getting frustrated because you feel like you have no sense of purpose if you don't have a vision. So you're just randomly going through life if you don't have a vision. So again, a life without purpose is setting you up for a life of unfulfillment. And if you want to get clear but you have no idea of where to start. I get this all the time. I have no clue of where I'm supposed to start. I don't know what my vision is. Then I've got a guide, a free guide for you to help shape your vision and make sure it's something that lights you up. Just go to lewishouse.com slash vision and download the free guide right now. Lesson number two, guys, health is essential to everything. Now, there were moments this year where I let my my health slip. I got sick, I got exhausted, I was overworking. And what happens is this holds me back in my relationships. It holds me back from being powerful in my vision. It holds me back from um, being there for my team. It holds me back in all these different ways. And it takes a while to get back on track. So you want to stay prepared daily. Schedule in your workouts at a minimum. This helps you relieve stress, and it also brings out your joy. So you need to schedule it in. If it's not scheduled in your calendar, it's most likely not going to happen. So schedule it in every single week. In terms of your nutrition, I like to keep it simple, guys. Really create a lifestyle around eating healthy and using the 80-20 rule. You know, the best that you can. Listen, I am a sweets aholic, if that even means anything, but I love my sweets, my candy, my sugar, my brownies, my cakes. Oh my gosh, I could eat so much candy um, until I die, right? I love it. But I try to use the 80 20 rule as much as possible. I mean, 80% of the time, fruits, vegetables, nuts, lean meat. I'm trying to keep it very clean as much as I can. The other 20% of the time, uh, you know, I will enjoy my life with the foods that uh, really, uh, you know, are fun for me, right? That don't serve me and that hurt me long term. But 
80-20. I try to have a life as well. And I like to give myself an insurance policy. So because I'm traveling a lot and because I'm around a lot of people, you want to make sure that you set yourself up to win. You personally got to do this as well. And if you're not eating healthy on a consistent basis, then make sure you have an insurance policy. I like uh, having a green supplement. There's a great one called Athletic Greens that I've used for almost eight years now. Athleticgreens.com slash greatness. You get a discount, and they got to throw in some extra green travel packs for you as well. So go check out these guys. A good buddy of mine uh, started this, and uh, a lot of elite athletes and and people use it from all over the world. So make sure to check out athleticgreens.com slash greatness. Okay, lesson number three, meditation. This is something that I've been doing for over a decade. I've been meditating and visualizing, and I just went to India to get certified to be a meditation instructor, went through a two-week process, and it's something I try to do on a daily basis. And when I implement a daily meditation practice, I feel it. I feel positive. I feel clear. I feel intentional about what I'm doing. I'm less reactive. Since I've been back, there have been days I've missed doing my meditation. And since missing them, I feel lethargic. I feel lazier. I feel more reactive or frustrated in certain times. So I definitely feel the difference from the days I meditate versus the days I don't. So set yourself up to win in this year, to making your greatest year ever by having a daily meditation practice. I'm telling you guys, it's so simple. Meditation is becoming well-known from people all over the world now. It's not some weird woo-woo thing anymore. People are talking about it in the workforce, in sports, in relationships, whatever it may be. It's all good. And set yourself up to win. Do something that works for you. There's free apps online that you can use and try out. You don't have to go to India like I did. There's also a great app called Headspace. And if you go to headspace.com slash greatness, you get a 10-day free trial. So you can go there, download the app, try it for 10 days. They have three-minute meditations, five-minute, 30-minute. You can try different lengths of time that work best for you. But I'm telling you, meditate to get clear every single day on who you want to be and what you want to create in the world. Lesson number four. Find your tribe. Oh, that's right. you got to find that tribe this year. There was a lot of times where I found myself just on my phone and on my computer too much on social media this previous year. And I realized that the more I disconnect from people in the real world, where I get to touch them and hug them, the more I disconnect, the more isolated I feel, the more I suffer. And the more... The, most, the people that suffer the most are the ones that are most isolated, the ones that stay loners by themselves, that do everything on their own. It's when we go out there and we connect with our community, people that have other hobbies, activities, uh, common interests as us. When we get out there more frequently, we feel more alive. We feel more activated. We feel like we have a sense of purpose. It's all about that community. You've got to stay active in your community, in your tribes, Instead of just being behind a computer all day long and only having virtual interactions. Yes, there's a time and a place for that. Yes, having online communities is great as well because you want to connect with people from all over the world. That's all good too. But make sure you carve out time to be with your tribe, to go to the gym and connect with people that are doing similar things, to go dance with people, to go do art classes, to go be around people. Find your tribe Hug them, open up, share your life, and listen to others about their lives as well. We were born to connect. And if you aren't connecting at the most intimate levels, then you're missing out on a beautiful life. I also realized this, and that's why I created an annual event. You know, I have this podcast, The School of Greatness, that people listen to from all over the world. But I didn't get to really hang out with people that much. So I said, I'm changing that. I'm going to bring together an event and summitofgreatness.com. You can check it out if you want to come next year. It's going to be amazing. So I'm doing more touring. I'm doing more in-person events. I've got a book tour at the end of the year. I've got the Summit of Greatness. I'm trying to get out there in person more as opposed to just be behind my computer constantly grinding, but also living life. So make sure you are focusing on finding ways to come together and to find your tribe. And lesson number five, 
Be on the pursuit of your dreams. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you aren't pursuing your dreams, then you are wasting your time. You may need to do a lot of things that you don't want to do for a period of time. And it may take you a long time to actually live your dreams depending on where you're at in your life. But having the dream in your heart, sharing it with others, and taking active steps towards making it happen is where the magic comes in life. It is the journey, not the destination. That's what people say. But if we are on a journey towards a life that does not bring us joy, then it's going to be a miserable life. And there is no destination. My recommendation for this is to read the book, The Alchemist, and discover your dream and see what part of the journey you're on right now. Check out the book, The Alchemist. We'll link it up to where you can get it in the description below. These are my lessons from the year. These are my five lessons. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you apply them to your life this year and making sure you have the greatest year ever. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment below and share this with your friends. It would mean the world to me. This is going to be the greatest year ever for the School of Greatness brand, our team, and I know myself personally because I choose it to be. I choose to follow the rituals, the habits, and the routines that add value to my life and that bring value to other people. So I hope you enjoy this video and I look forward to seeing you this year at some point and seeing your greatest year ever.